Welcome to my video on Bordeaux. I know what you're thinking, this twat don't drink Bordeaux. Yeah, you're right, look, on my wall of fame, most of the wines there, they're in burgundy shaped bottles. They're not Bordeaux. These are the sorts of bottles you might see from Bordeaux, being drunk by men in suits with cigars. These are the sorts of wines that for about 20 years, they're a bit shit, rough as a badger's arse. But recently, I was contacted by a gentleman called Benedict Butterworth. He sent me some wines that looked really cool. So I was intrigued. In recent years, there has been a new wave of Bordeaux. You've got all these young winemakers and they just want to do something a bit different from the, what their parents did. And they're starting to see that the cooler bottles made in this shape, ones that you can drink early and don't cost a fortune and have a cool label. They're the ones that the young people want to drink. So here you have a Merlot wine from Bordeaux and I've got it slightly chilled and I'm smashing it on a weeknight. It's like 12% alcohol, so it's like super smashable. It almost tastes like a Beaujolais. It's got what they would call crunchy fruit. Lots of red fruits, it's a bit plummy, loads of cherry. And they've also done a semi-carbonic maceration. So some of the grapes in the vat have been left in the whole bunches and the fermentation gets going inside the grapes. It extracts all of the colour and all of the lovely bubbly fruity flavours, but without all the big tannins. A lot of the Merlot from Bordeaux can take 15, 20 years just to soften up. So on this wine, it's got soft, supple, easy tannins, so you can drink it now. It's delicious. It smells like fresh concrete that's just drying. I don't want to diss the classics too much, right? Because this is one of my favorite wines of all time. This is the wine from Margot, made by this guy. He's in his 80s and he's done 69 vintages in Margot. Very traditional farming methods, everything's by hand. He never uses oak, he uses concrete barrels. He's been doing it for so long, his cash flow is pretty good, that he holds all the bottles back and only releases them when they're ready. So you can buy the latest release, like 2005 or something, and it's got the perfect amount of age on it, but it's been sitting there in his cellar for all that time. The condition of it is just perfect. And when you taste it, it's like got all the magic of old mature Bordeaux, None of the wanky winemaking and doesn't smell of wood or anything. It's just absolutely beautiful wine that has the silky tannins of Margot and tastes exactly like the place. This is a wine that gets me heart going. It's amazing. I'm not slagging off Bordeaux. I've got this wine here from Madame Tapon. They're from saint Emilion, the famous town where all of the Merlot-based wines are made. In Bordeaux, they make the white wines, uh, Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon and other grapes like that. They can either smell like piss toilet cleaner or they could be really viscous and just too oily. If you give them some age, they can come alive. So I looked at this bottle and straight away, there's at least three pairs of tits on the bottle. It's in the cool category. Lots of their other wines have got quite saucy labels as well. Look at the color of it. This is from 2009. When you first smell it, it's got caramel, it's got some truffle and some tobacco and like really old smelling aromas. But then with a bit of swirling underneath that, you start to get this lovely fresh citrus and apricot and stone fruit and all sorts. It's really interesting. It's quite rainy in Bordeaux, so it's hard to make wine in the natural way. To the west of Bordeaux, there's the forest, which is like on the coast, and that protects Bordeaux from the worst of the weather. But there's still quite a lot of rain, so the, the wine growers have to spray their vines with a lot of stuff to stop diseases. But I think things are starting to change and people are figuring out how to manage disease without using a shitload of chemicals. What you gotta do really is make sure that there's plenty of ventilation so your vines don't get all soggy. And A lot of the vineyards you'll see have gravel soils. They're all the famous Cabernet Sauvignon. You want good drainage when you've got soggy soils. Classic Bordeaux, it's made in a very extracted style and with a lot of, lot of wood, really big, bold flavors. But things are changing. People are starting to make fresher, lower alcohol, easier tannins, wines that you can drink straight away. The stumbling blocks for Bordeaux. Expensive, can't drink them for 20 years, and they're not very cool. So I think we're gonna to start to see natty wines coming out of Bordeaux a bit more. I'm always talking shit about Bordeaux, but now and again, someone will give me a glass of like a really classic old fashioned Bordeaux from the 1980s or the 90s or something like that. Even though they're full of shite, they're full of sulfur, they've got a load of oak and that, just give them a chance because some of them wines you just can't, you just can't help but fall in love with them. Keep an open mind about Bordeaux and look out for this new wave of producers because I think there's something, there's something brewing or fermenting. See you next time.